want to start off by just praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Kudash, Yahweh Honest to the Apostles, Stone, Shala, Sensor Sayyidish Talk, preaching this word and believing this believing this We just want to go into a lesson through the spirit, different instruction. Everybody plays through the spirit. Different gifts, different administrations, in order to find that out. You being a, you versus you, having an honest look at yourself, figuring out what's good for your spirit, what's not good for your spirit. Most importantly, when it comes to the ministry, how you been, how you bring, what you bring to the table concerning the ministry. Right. I'm gonna start off real. Quick. You got a one. Yep. It's First Corinthians twelve and one. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. And that goes into top. Being a right. The state aging of who was right for the Gentiles by coming out of that how by verse three. Before I give you to understand, no man speaketh by the spirit of power, call of Yahweh a curse, and that no man can say to Yahweh is the Lord, but by the Holy Spirit. And it's true because the Lord allowed. The Holy Spirit came unto you, took you from your path of being a state, you know, being a, or whatever, to be a part of it. So now when you go into the, uh, so, you know, uh, different roles and positions, things within the body, we have the different administrations of gifts. How do you find out what your gift is? You have to examine yourself in the spirit, the spirit of which you are. Verse 4 reads, Now these, now there are diversities of gifts of the same spirit, and there are differences, differences of administrations but the same Lord, and there are diversities of operation, but it is the same power which worketh all in all. When you first come into the truth, you know, you default that you, you know, you're going to be this super deep. You know, that's your, that's your mindset and your goal for what you're going to do in this truth. And then often, may not necessarily be. Because those who have those have great responsibilities. So you think about that. You have big followers on different channels. You know, that comes with a whole lot of things. Just views. You know, it's a whole lot of streets. Come with that. The Lord has given them the, the strength and the ability. To feed that many of the flock, you know, you have mm -hmm. to understand your role, your position in this, in this truth. Be okay. You know, uh, when the scripture go into it, here, you know, uh, saying to the eye, you know, and the eye saying to the hand, different situations. Just because your office isn't, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not to the body. How about you? Verse seven, but the manifestation of the spirit. Is given to every man to profit with it. Hey, so it means for those brothers, administrators, who, who are um, those who make sure things are cool. Camp. We have brothers who are overseers. Uh, when the camp is going on, they're able to oversee. You know, you have brothers who are deep in the history. You have brothers who are deep in the precept. You have uh, brothers who are deep in the precept. And these are the special. You know, we all have a well-rounded understanding of the scripture, but you have spirit that the Lord You have to understand, and it also takes examination that is being and what the Lord is in your spirit to bring to the table. Again, verse seven say reads, "But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all." But to one is given by the Spirit 
the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit. For those brothers, you know, your, your gift may be spiritual. You never know. It just it hasn't been revealed at this moment in time. Scriptures to understand, right, that we all have different positions, different roles, right, and the things that are honorable in the eyes of men. Through the Spirit, how do you find examining this by looking at what you cater to? Some brothers are being administration, making sure that camp has everything that they need. For instance, this may be. Because when we were in the war, when we were actually, everybody didn't play the same position. Right. You know, everybody didn't have a general and decided what men stood in the, in the midst of battle. Some men were the ones that soldiers, some men were the ones that were captains of 100. Connected. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, that should be better. How's the audio now? Can brothers, can brothers, sisters hear? Is the audio better now? Okay, con, con, con. So again, uh, we were going into through the spirit, the uh, administration of gifts. All right. All right, it's better now. So we're going into the administration of gifts that every brother that's a believer that the Lord has put the spirit on. There's a certain particular gift that is in your spirit. All right. Through the spirit of Pai Yahweh Shemal Shai that can be added to the ministry. All right. And we're going into how you have to examine yourself to find out through the spirit what it is that the Lord has placed in your spirit that may cater to the body, that may help uplift the body, you know, as a whole. You know, there are different administrations of gifts. You know, the brother was going into, matter of fact, could you read that part again? Up? Let me start off from the top. Uh, well, start off at, um, what's that, three? Uh, uh, yeah. Four, four. Four, uh, yeah. So this First Corinthians 12 and four. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which work of all in all. And that goes into the different offices through the spirit and probably how about Shemel Shah. All right. You have brothers who are deep in the history. You got brothers who are deep in prophecy. You have brothers who are deep in the breakdowns. You know, we all have a, a foundation through the spirit, the milk. All right. But there inside of that ministry, there are certain specialties that, that just cater to you. There are certain things that you had that have happened to you before you came into this truth that benefit the body. Done. Certain experiences you've been through that helps cater to the body that, that you can speak from experience. All of these things help to build up because ultimately the ministry is about edifying, building up the saints, being built up and building up with whatever gift you've been given. Verse seven. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So by you having this truth, that means the Lord has given you something inside of your spirit to profit with all. Meaning to wake up the believers, to wake up the elect. For some of you, it's those, if you haven't even uh, been able to get into a camp yet or come out to the highways and hedges, it may be right now that your family's watching you. They're watching your example as you learn and as you grow. And they're looking and some may be saved out of that. You know, just by watching your journey from being in the world to being in the truth. And then as you continue to grow, you'll, you'll find out what your gift is through the spirit. Some brothers is history. Some brothers can speak well. Some brothers uh, can bring out the precepts and, and know how to line them up. All right. Some brothers are great teachers. When somebody comes up and they don't know the truth at all, they're able to explain it to them where they can understand what's going on. All of these are different gifts, but every gift has not been given to every man. And that's why examining yourself is extremely important to find out what is in your spirit that may bring that you can bring to the body to help profit with all, man. Uh. Verse 8, 1 Corinthians 12 and 8. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. So you got brothers that are deep into the economy, they're deep into history, 
So when you go into certain precepts, they can bring out and expound more on it because they know a little bit. And, and it might have been because of their background, where they came right, from. Right. You know, they they might have been in the corporate world or they might have been in the in the streets or whatever the case may be. And they can come back to this truth and add to the uh, body through those experiences. All right. All of these things are working to profit with all. But every gift is not given to every man. You know, when you come into the truth, you think that everybody's gift is going to be able to be a master teacher. And that's just not realistic through the spirit, man. Right. There's a lot of things that happen around uh, who are, who Jake may deem as a master teacher that needs to happen that you may not see because it's not on camera, mm -hmm. but are just as important through the spirit, man. This verse nine to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit yep to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits hey it said to another discerning of spirits you got certain brothers who are able to discern spirits read brother spirit they uh. can read brother spirits you have all all these gifts exist inside of the body some brothers have more than one talent some brothers have one talent and you have to examine yourself and be honest with yourself to find out what it is you bring to the ministry. You know, right now, certain brothers are are able to um, put the perfect precept at the right time on, on comment page, right. on comment boards right. that spark the spirit to go somewhere else that might not have went there if you didn't bring that precept yep, out. Yep, All of these are yep. certain gifts that yep. fit the body. You know, and, and I, I want to bring this out through the spirit because a lot of times, Jake, especially when you first come in and you're not learning as quickly as you would want to, you think it's something wrong with you. Right. And it may not be the case. It may just be the Lord is giving you a certain gift. And right now, this is as much as your your vessel can take for now. Right. You, you, you're right. Come on. You got to, you, uh, what's the word? Uh, you got to uh, perfect that, man. Yeah. Whatever that little small gift is, whatever it is, you got to perfect that first before you can move on, man. Yeah. Move up. So it said discern the spirits. Hey, and in Romans 8 and 16, you say what? The spirit bow witness with our spirit that we are the sons of power. So when you got Jason come up to camp, hey, and they tell me, well, I don't know what my, I don't know what I am according to what the signs say. You got the uh, the 12 tribe sign, then you got the, then we also got the 18 nation sign. And we tell them, hey, well, if you ain't over here, you over here. Well, hey, discerning the spirits is a major key, major part, man. Yeah. Brothers know how and, yeah. and other spirit, you see demons that's coming up, coming up to camp, a brother might be like, Hey, we need to deal with this guy. Yeah, yeah. Then you can see that from far off, man. So this is a that's important to say to another, first Corinthians twelve and ten, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues. Yep. To another the interpretation of tongues. Now we had this guy come up maybe a year or so ago. And um, he didn't really speak English, so bro went in his phone and spoke. He pulled up the little app and spoke to it, right? And and uh, when he spoke in English, and it related back to the guy in um in Spanish, because he didn't speak Spanish. I mean, he didn't speak English. So when they say that that uh, interpretation of tongues, it ain't talking about that hobo bobo bull, yeah, man. Yeah, right, right, right. Brothers, we. It say stammering lips in another tongue when he speak when he speak to these people, man. Everybody don't speak English. Everybody can't understand uh, what it, what what's the, what's the term for Jamaican patois 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 yeah. whatever. Everybody. Yeah. So you got brothers. The Lord got set up. That's why I say the priesthood have went to all twelve tribes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's a gift, you know, because Jacob look at it. You know, Jacob look at their situation and what the Lord has given them as a gift and they not they don't perceive it as a gift. Right. Because they think that, you know, they're supposed to be on a on a certain master level, teacher level, and that ain't that ain't the case for every brother, man. Right. Every brother ain't blessed with those kind of gifts. The scriptures talk about covenanting to prophesy, but ultimately being realistic, everybody's gift is not the same. And you have to understand right. what you have in your vessel and understand that if you continue to do what the Lord requires you with the gift that you've been given. All right, that Lord willing, you'll have that salvation because ultimately that's what it's about. It's not about looking deep. It's about Lord willing being saved. And there's some gift, if you understand this truth and you are a part of the, uh, you know, if you understand this truth and you're a Negro, Latino, Native American man, that means that there's somewhere inside of your uh, your vessel a gift that the Lord needs for the body, man. Right. And sometimes that may just be uh, uh, the right precept at the right time. Sometimes it may be uh, your ability to give brothers the right uh, precepts on the comment boards, mm -hmm. the encouragement on the comment boards. All of these things play a role in the edifying the body, man. Yeah. 
So 1 Corinthians 12 and 10, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these work of that one and the self same spirit, divine to every man severely as he will. So the Lord is giving every man a portion according to his pleasure. You know, whether you have one talent or two talents, you abound and you thank the Lord for even having a talent. Uh -huh. Cause there are, there are people out here that's looking for the truth and can't find it, even if it's right in their face, man. Right, right. So for you to right. have it, that's a gift. You got it. It say verse twelve, for as the body is one, yep. and have many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Hamashiach. Come on, man. So that means uh, the body has different parts. All right, every everybody is not the head, everybody is not the tail, everybody right. is not the toe, everybody's not the ear. There's different parts of the body, but it's all working the self same spirit to accomplish the same goal. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. Lord willing. Because again, it goes back to us not being. It's not about looking deep. It's not about being, you know, the the one that everybody says rabbi rabbi to. It's about being saved, Lord willing, and taking whatever talent the Lord has given you, and and giving it back to the Lord with usury, man. Yeah. And that may be your language. Maybe you, you know, you grew up in a certain way and now you you uh, you speak Spanish and you speak English. You're able to wake up. That That's a gift. Yeah, man. And you understand this truth. That's a gift because now you're able to explain it. All right. In both tongues. And that's not something to be taken lightly through the spirit, man. And every camp need a Spanish speaking brother. Man. Yeah, man. Hey, we thought we had one a couple of times. Man. Yeah, man. Hey, every camp need a Spanish speaking brother, man. Real talk. This is verse uh, 12, verse 13. It reads, For by one spirit are we all baptized. So like it, let me correct that. Every camp need a northern kingdom, brother. Right. Let me say it like that. Right. Beautiful. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be born or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Hey, all drinking in the one spirit. That means yeah. it's all working the self same spirit. Mm -hmm. All of these things. You, the scriptures talk about you cannot do anything against the truth, but for the truth. Right. And that means whatever role you play, even if you think it's small, it has some need for the body, man. The scriptures go into that expressly. And a lot of times when you first come into the truth, you think that it's about being uh being the, the, the deepest with the five readers and the, the one guy that can. And there's brothers that have that measure. Because that's the measure that the Lord wanted that right. brother to have. Right. But it may not be your measure. You know, you have to understand that and be honest with yourself through the spirit. And whatever talent you have, you have to bring that to the uh, to the table and be grateful to have that. You know, a lot of people don't even understand how blessed they are through the spirit to even understand this truth and have a gift, man. Mm -hmm. To even know what your gift is, man. That's a blessing in itself. Because at one time we were just in the world and we thought that our purpose in life was to be something in this world, man. Right. And now we understand to serve the Lord. And even if that means you're able to, to put the right comment at the right time, the right priest at the right time that a brother couldn't think of, he was like, I can't think of it right now. Yeah. You always had a moments where you're like, man, I can't think of that precept. And then a brother will put it on the comment board. That's a that's a blessing, man. Yes, it is. All of these are gifts through the Spirit and Pai Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. Let's say verse 13 again. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be born or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. And I was thinking about this just now. And they say, all made to drink in one spirit. We fell together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the Lord said he was going to raise up the remnant together, man. Yeah. And um, Jeremiah 24, he said, you got, he asked Jeremiah, what do you see? He said, I see a basket of good figs and a basket of evil figs. Yeah. Right? And the Lord said, he said he sent the basket of good figs with the bad figs to Babylon. But he said the basket of good figs, we were sent here to be corrected, man. Yep. And the two thirds were sent here to be destroyed. So the ones that it say and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Hey, that's beautiful, man. If, like the brother saying, if you understand, man, whatever the measure is that the Lord give you, hey, just perfect that for now, man. Yep. Because you'll get down on yourself when you look at, you know, especially when you first starting off and you ain't really been in the truth and, and, and kind of dwelt with what's really going on. You kind of think you have an idea of what the truth should be in your mind before you even get in. 
And when it don't meet up with your expectations, you start to question yourself. And the right. scriptures talk about examining yourself to see if you be in the faith. Right. And that's a healthy fear to have. But through the spirit, you have to understand that every office is not going to be the same. And every brother that wakes up to this truth is not going to have the same office. Right. And this is why Paul says these things. And a lot of times, you know, we brush over these scriptures to get the exciting ones. All right. But these things are important, man. Yeah. Real quick. I got one. Uh, Romans 12 and 4. And it reads, for as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office. Mm -hmm. So we being many are one body in Hamashiach, and every one members one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. So every brother has different gifts. You have brothers that, that know, when you're thinking about a precept, they know exactly, and that brother's good at that. When, it, when it's a precept that you, you ain't sure about where it's at, that brother know. That's an example of him having a gift that's different, that differs, and, and you can have multiple talents. This brother got multiple talents, but then you have brothers who have one talent. They may have two talents, and then you'll get down on yourself because you think you're supposed to have, you know, you're supposed to be a six talent. All of us are not right. built that way, right. and that's just being realistic through the spirit of Pahiyahu by Shemel Shah. But whatever measure you have, you got to remember what King David said. I'd rather be a doorkeeper mm -hmm. just to have one measure. It is a one talent is a beautiful office through the spirit and power how by Shemel Shah. And if you sup with it and you and you make peace with it and you abound in it, most importantly, the Lord will add unto your table, man. Right. Because when you go into that parable, you say, take it from him and give it to this one. Yep. Yep. And that's what happens, man. And, and what you know now, a lot of brothers don't know, man. Right. That's why I tell you Ecclesiastes three. Yep. Hey, what? Hey, you understand more things than people know, man. Right. So hey, just deal. We we just dealing with our measure, whatever our cup is. That's what we are dealing with, man. This brother is an eloquent speaker. I'm not. I ain't. I am not. I'm not mad because I can't speak like the brother do, man. It just we got. Hey, it's all for the body, though. At the end of the day, man. 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 Because without without the the body being shaped the way it is. It wouldn't complement each other. Right. So the Lord, and that, and that's a that's a whole another spiritual topic because a lot of brothers have been raised up uh, through the spirit of regeneration to complement each other in different states and cities that they in. Uh, yeah. That's all uh, by by design. You, yeah. you you meet certain brothers and they was like, man, I wasn't even gonna stay in this city for that long. I planned on moving, and and the Lord kept him there. Why? Because that gift that he has is gonna complement the the altar. Because ultimately, that's what these are. These are sanctuaries. In different cities and states, man. All right. Yep. Yep. Uh, I want to read this Con. since you said that this is uh, Titus three. In uh, verse five, verse three, it say, "For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. Mm -hmm. But after the, but after that, the kindness of love, of power, our Savior towards." Man appeared not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he has saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of his Holy Spirit, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shammashiach, our Savior. So, hey, coming back, them, them good fruits, man. And what you understand. Yeah, man. <laughs> What you understand is far more than men understand. And that's something that we we it's easy to take it for granted because you see those same precepts over and over again. And you we really don't meditate on how blessed we are to even understand that. Right. To even understand the milk, you know, and that's why it's not about being a super deep, super deep guy. It's about whatever measure you've been given, applying that to the body with truth and sincerity that Lord willing when you need mercy the most and you need salvation the most the Lord's gonna remember your labors of love man whatever right. those uh those labors are man mm -hmm. this verse 14 back in first Corinthians 12 for the body is not one member but many if the foot shall say because I am not the hand I am not of the body is it therefore not of the body hey, and that's for example that's a, a brother that's just coming in and they like man I don't I don't know why I fit in. I just, I know I, I can get these precepts. And you thinking that in your mind that it's not of the body. You know, you thinking that it's not important to the body. All I can really do is, you know, 
this is where the Lord has got me at right now. And it, it, I don't think it's much. You don't think it's much. Right. But the fact that you understand this and the Lord put the spirit on you to do certain things is a, a testament to itself through the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. That is a, it's important to the body. The Lord didn't wake you up for no reason. You got to continue to meditate upon that and be right. thankful, man. Right. He didn't wake you up for no reason. Beautiful point. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, what were the hearing? Hey, so if everybody was a deep speaker, the deep speaker with five read that need five readers, who reading? Right. Who making sure uh, we got incense or we got waters at the camp? Come. Who doing that if everybody's the deep, eloquent, five reader brother with the with the deep history and all of that? If everybody is that, right? Then where's all these different offices? You don't have a camp. Ain't no balance, man. There's no balance. Ain't no balance, man. So there are different offices, and then you might have an ear that don't feel like it's a part of the body because this office is small. Without that office, all right, there's a, a camp doesn't run the same way, man. Right. It all it, feeds the, uh, the body. It all edifies the body. Uh, it say, if the whole body were an eye, what were the hearing? If the whole, it say, if the whole were, were hearing, what were the smelling? But now have power set the members, every one of them in the body, as it had pleased him. And if they were all one member, mm -hmm. where were the body? Come on, so that 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 diversity is a gift, there's uniqueness, and every that's why brothers come from different walks. It's intentionally done like that through the spirit, so that different experiences can be brought to the ministry. Yeah, yeah. And it'll yeah. help edify. Because you got you got brothers and sisters waking up from different walks of life. From walks of life, yeah. And another brother's testimony might match up with a with a, a brother who's just coming in, who's new to the faith. All of these things are ultimately for the edifying of the body. Whether your office is small, whether your office is great, you know, whether you are a brother that's uh, that's able to speak, whether you are a brother that's not uh, speaking necessarily, but he, you go into the scriptures, you grab precepts, you know, you do administrative offices. All right. For the brothers who haven't been able to to get into the ministry yet, it's in your best interest through the spirit to to get to the body, man. All right. Because that's the way iron really sharpens iron. That's really how you find out uh, who you yeah. are through the spirit. Yeah. When you're able to put your your um your vessel next to other vessels in this truth and see yeah. what you need and see what you bring to the table through the spirit, man. Yeah, man. That's why the ministry is so important. That's why the apostles. The apostles uh, always exhort brothers to get out here and start, you know, preaching or teaching or being a part of the, the body so that you can find out what your office is. Right. It's hard to do that when you're just a standalone uh, brother and you're not really in touch in tune with the body. Right. Because if you ain't using if you ain't using what you got, man, like you're going to get dull, man. Mm -hmm. You thinking you getting sharper. Yeah. But really, you're not, man. Just say this is first Corinthians 12 and 20. But now are they many members, yet but one body. And if the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you, nay, much more, those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. So a great example through the Spirit is if you're first starting off in this truth, you may just be a brother on the comment board. And you may look at it like it's a small office because you just... You just coming in the truth and you on the comment board, but you don't know that the Lord put the spirit on you to do those certain things. Mm -hmm. Now, we would hope and we exhort that you would grow from that point and then, you know, abound in the faith to where you get to a point where you out there. And even if you're just out there on the other side of the line watching, you know, you graduate through the spirit. But right. even if that's your office, when you first start off grabbing precepts, putting them on the comment boards. You know, asking certain questions on the comment boards that allows the body to to uh, to be edified on things that they might have had a question about, but they didn't have the spirit to ask. Right. All yeah. these things yeah. work out for the self same spirit, the prophet, the believers, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, beautiful. Adam Nana got uh, Ecclesiastes 19 and 24. He that hath small understanding and feareth the most high is better than one that hath much wisdom beautiful. and transgresseth the law mm -hmm. of the most high. Man, that's yeah. a beautiful scripture. Yeah. Cause it ain't about being the super deep. It's about 
being saved through the spirit and whatever measure you have applying it to the body and showing that sincere labor of love because that's what this ultimately is right it's a labor of love to edify the body those who are just coming in those who have been there for a while that's why we watch the apostles and the elders we we continue to be seasoned and sharpened through the spirit by the different levels of experience that the lord has to offer but if you have a small understanding just coming into this truth just having the milk is more than making understand man yeah and we walking by faith yep. not by sight we ain't running by faith man we walking yep. man this ain't no speedy race, man. Yeah. Yeah, because you could trip yourself up trying to, uh, oh, I'm going to study 12 hours a day. And you're, right. just trying to, right. you're just trying to master it just to look, make it look good. But it ain't about that. It's about you. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say, with all I get and get what? Get understanding, man. Mm -hmm. Understand what the mission is and what you have to do for salvation. That's really the, the foundation of this. Right. Everything else is just the, you know, the extras on it for edification but ultimately it's about understanding the will of the heavenly father and what you need to do to be in line with that man mm -hmm. and all of the, the ministry has been established all right to edify and build up those spirits that truly believe man to get us through these times by the comforting of the word right and it's all through balance man yep this is proverbs 11 and 1 get these two pre-sales a false balance is abomination to the lord but a just weight is his delight this proverbs 16 and 11 Say the same difference. A just weight and balance are the Lord's. All the weights of the bag are his. So mm. whatever the spirit of the Lord got on you, it's not you, man. And don't be trying to do something extra that you don't got to do, man. Just keep it basic and simple, man. So back in 1 Corinthians 12. Real quick. Yep. Proverbs 16 and 33. The lot is cast into the lap. Right. But the whole disposing thereof is of Yahweh by Shema was shot, right. man. And this goes back to uh, the Lord, uh, well, King David saying, look, I would rather be a doorkeeper. I, that means I would rather have the smallest office in the room if it allows me to be in the room. Mm -hmm. That's the mentality we have to have, just like our king had. And in that, in that, if you think and you move like that through the spirit, the Lord will add unto your spirit, man. The Lord will add unto Thanks. your measure. You won't stay there. Yeah. Yeah. But the Lord is testing your integrity with the little talent. If you can right. have that one talent and be faithful over it and abound in it, the Lord will give you He'll add unto that office. Don't increase you, man. But yeah. you can't you can't move faster than the Lord. You can't right. hasten on above the Lord. Because yeah. it's not about grabbing knowledge. It's about your understanding. It's about gathering wisdom and understanding. Not just about having knowledge and making it look good on camera. God, that's what the Lord said to Ezra. And second Ezra 4, man, don't hasten above the Lord, man. Yep. This, so this back in our uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 23. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. Man, because it, it, it takes a level of integrity to make peace with your office, if you, even if it's not a big office, and, and abound in it and, and take pleasure in it, knowing that, it's people out here who don't have the truth at all, man. Right. Much less the spirit to right. apply their gift to the body. Mm -hmm. Just to have right. that. Even if that means you have a small office. That's important through the spirit, man. Because the Lord called you according to the pleasure of his own heart, man. Of his mercy to give you an office, even if it's a small one. And if you abound in it, if you appreciate it, if you're thankful for it, the Lord will add. I'm telling you, the Lord will add unto it, man. Hey, man. We all examples of the yeah. lord increasing us our faith man yeah we all the brothers you can see it man and hey, we got we got uh beautiful examples the apostles our yeah, spiritual man. fathers man at their fruit when they didn't have no fruit man. when they were just uh gms new york camps man mm. hey examples man and it man and you have a lot of people even now you got different camps that you know they're hastening to have this top notch top level top man in israel goal and office well the ones that the lord has placed the spirit on to have that have what's needed inside their spirit to maintain that and abound in it right not just have a title just to have a title the apostles aren't the apostles we don't call them the apostles just for just for the sake of it right they have work and experience that has indicated that the lord is dealing with them man exactly yeah yeah and when you try to hasten to grab an office that don't belong to you you're gonna end up destroying yourself yes sir that's why examining yourself is extremely important because just to have a small gift in this truth 
is way better than to try to get some super extravagant name in Israel and fall in front of the congregation because you tried to do something that you knew in your own spirit wasn't yours. Right. Yeah. We all don't have the same measure. We all don't have the same gifts. And that's a good thing through the spirit because everybody, ultimately, all of the believers are being edified in one way, shape, form or fashion. And your your role in this, even if it may seem small to you, is greater than you understand, man. Right. Right. And that's what this say. First Corinthians 12 and 23. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. And our comely, it's a, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Man. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> Verse 24. For our comely parts have no need, but power have tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. Man, man, that's, man, that's the breakdown. That's the breakdown, man. Real quick, I just finished this up in Romans 12, and Adam did not put it up too. I'm going to get up verse 6. It says, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy mm. according to the proportion of faith. Mm. Meaning, man, that's, that's a statement in itself. Yeah. Because brothers said it all the time, the apostles as well. There's there's levels to faith. There's levels to faith. You got a lot of um guys that came in and they wanted to be on the same level as the apostles. Would you have had the faith to go through the 2006 and 2004 and 2005 with no fruit and still go ahead first? I think not. I say nay. <laughs> these are these are trials they had to go through and display a proportion of faith that's different, man. Yeah, man. And that's just a testament to the different diversities of gifts and most importantly, the different offices, man. But just to even know and be aware of this truth, this council, this council of the Heavenly Father, this uh, this secret meeting in public yep. is a gift in itself, man. Hey, and, and and what happened in 2000 was a stumbling block, man. Yep. It was a, it, yep. it was it was a lot of fruit then and they left. Man. So that'll make a person that'll make some men lose a little faith, man. Man. These guys left. They was diligent. They seemed to be diligent. They was on point. Then after 2000, they left. Hey, that'll make you kind of lose. Hey, but the apostles, man. They man, head first. Hey, that made them stronger, man. Head first. That man. made them stronger, man. And, and that, that's where they are spiritual fathers. So lucky. Like no, well, that's why we give double honesty to the apostles right. and elders, man. Right. Because you understand that the work you're going, you're coming into other men's labors. And by them being who they are through the spirit, that means the Lord has given them that measure. That measure right. came from in the heavens. Right. They yeah. didn't. Yeah, they didn't do. Special. You know. They didn't run laps and, and work. They, this was a dispensation. This was oh. a measure that oh. was given unto them. Yeah. Likewise, us just coming in, we have to find our measure through the spirit and add to the body. That's the most important. Even if it's not, it's uncommonly. Even if it ain't what you desire it to be. It's important through the spirit of Pai Yahweh by Shemal Shah and according to the pleasure of the Lord, he's giving you some kind of position. Even if that's, you have people that watch the videos that won't comment. Right. They believe just as much as you believe and they won't comment. Yep. They got a precept in their mind and they're afraid to put themselves out there because they don't want nobody to look at their channel and see that they ain't, they ain't on the level yet. Right. You got people yep. that do that. Yep. So yep. to even have that gift is a, man. All of these things yep. are, are a blessing from the Heavenly Father, man. And we, we would, uh, we would hope you know, through the spirit of Pai Yahweh by Shemal Shah, that everyone is able to abound in that gift. Right. But it's important to find your gift. Yeah. That's why you got to examine yourself. And while there's still yet day, we exhort one another to, hey, mm -hmm. come to this. If you're not yeah. in it yet, come to it. Yeah. If you have a gift, appreciate that gift, understanding that there are people who don't have this understanding at all, man. Uh. Much less a role uh. to play in this truth. The Lord gave you a great understanding of the precepts to know where to get this precept. The ones that brothers don't think about as much. That's a gift. Yes, it is. That's a gift. That's something that don't. It's not of you. It's of the Lord, man. But you got to abound in it. So you out there that's behind the scenes. It's being quiet. Hey. Pop out. Right. Pop out, man. <laughs> Pop out. Real quick. I got uh, verse seven. Come on. It's, well, I started six again. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, mm. or and ministering means the service, mm -hmm. to serve. 
what your, your brothers need. You notice a, a brother need a water or something. And all of these things add to the body, man. It may not seem deep. It may not seem honorable to the flesh, but it's all adding to the body, man. Uh, continuing, it says, or he that teacheth on teaching, because you have brothers who are good at speaking uh, and prophesying, but when it uh, comes to somebody coming up, you know, there are brothers that are special, specialized. This brother is specialized in teaching. When somebody come up and they got a question, the brother already got the, the precepts lined up in his head, how he want to get them, how he want to how he want to attack the situation. Now, it'll be an ego thing to try to jump in front of that, to try to do it because you want to do it. When you understand that he got the gift to do it. These are just examples of understanding. And that co that goes in examining yourself. You have to understand right. what you bring to the table and what you bring to the ministry. And, and, and rejoice in that and most importantly abound in it, man. Because it's, it's beautiful. It says that in verse 6 it says, Rather prophesy, let us prophesy, or he that teacheth on teaching. Mm. Showing you there's differences, man. Right. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. You got brothers that just put brothers on a on a level when they just talk and they yeah, they yeah. motivate brothers, they inspire brothers. Uh -huh. These are all gifts, man. The gifts of a brother like bring it out, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It says, "He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, and he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Mm -hmm. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good." Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. All right, and that goes into that gift, man, of understanding through the spirit of Pai Yahweh Shemel Shah that we're all not called to do the same office, but whatever office you've been called to do, to apply it to this ministry and to abound in it, man. And that gift may be, uh, it may be a great, it may be a large two or three or four talents, or it may just be one. But whatever talent you've been given, it's important to be always mindful that having this truth in itself is a gift and it's not given and it's not it's not promised it's not given in vain and it's not promised it's not guaranteed we could one day you could have this and the next day the lord could take it from you right your one talent that you you having a pity party over man i wish i had all right well the lord gonna snatch that one from you since you since you wish you had something these things can happen just by not being thankful to even have this truth in the first place, man. Mm -hmm. So back in 1 Corinthians 12 and 24, it reads, For our comely parts have no need, but power have tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacketh, that there should be no schisms yep. in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. Hey, so ain't no stepping on toes when everybody got different administrations, different right. gifts. Ain't no stepping on toes. That's how the Lord doing this. Mm -hmm. Everybody is what? Fitly framed together. Yep. And that come goes on, from, on, from cities. That goes to states. And ultimately, that goes to this global body of the elect that's being raised up, man. Mm -hmm. Verse 26 reads, And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Yep. Just like yep. hey, Job 34, man. Yep. We all fell together. Hey, uh, the, the valley of dry bones, the, the good fruit, the good figs and the bad figs. The bad figs is together. The good figs is together, man. And we lose together. We win together. Right, right now we suffering. Right. We, we being persecuted right now. It's just it's just slander. But that's going to eventually come a persecution. But then there's going to be an exaltation. God. And it ain't just going to be it's right. going to be the body. The body's going to be lifted up. Right. It ain't going to matter. At that point, it ain't gonna matter who was the super deep teacher that was karate chopping people with right, the scriptures. Right. It's gonna be the ones who get saved and the ones who don't. You wanna wear white in that day, man. Yeah, man. You want that crown. And it ain't gonna matter if you was just a brother that was doing the administration, making sure water and incense was in the right place at the right time. You're gonna be so happy to be at the crowning ceremony. None of that is gonna matter, man. Yeah. It just matter right now because it's an ego thing, man. Yeah. Just read this real quick. Please ask these nine and eight. Let thy garments be always white man. and let thy head lack no ointment. And I always think about when King David said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper, man. And this was King. This was this was King David in his prime in the top of his game. Saying, man, if 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 it if it came down to it, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'd rather be a usher. 
You remember the ushers? They used to sit there the whole yep, church service. Yep. They standing up, yep, God. giving people peppermints and. Yep, God. <laughs> he was like, I'd rather, I'd rather have that yep. kind of office and be in the house of the Lord than to win with the wicked. Yep. Verse uh, 26 again, and whether one member suffer, all members suffer with it. Or one member be honored. All the members rejoice with it. Ooh. Hey, that's what Paul said. First Corinthians four. He said, "You reign like kings without us." Yep. And we did that. You did reign that we might reign with you, man. So these jakes on this side that got the bag. And, hey, that that's your lot. That's your that's your constellation, man. Man, bro, we blessed, man, through the spirit to even yep, have man. this, bro. To have this, man. Man, when you think about your life before this truth. It put you in a different perspective on where you at right now, man. It make you more thankful that you even have this knowledge. Right. Let alone a gift that you could bring to the table to show your appreciation through the labor of love, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever that gift is, if it's big or small. And we are we we pray through the spirit that you are able to abound and get to that point before before the day of the Lord's judgment really hits and there is no uh, no prophesying no more. There is no edifying no more. It's all what you have in your vessel. Right. So that's why while it is day, it's good to work, man. Uh, it's verse 27. Now ye are the body of Hamashiach and members in particular. Mm -hmm. And power have set some in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets, thirdly teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Man, that's dipped in all of those are different administrations. All of those are different gifts God. that may be, that's, it's a good chance one of those fits your description. Right, right, the spirit, right. Man. Verse 29 say, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but covet earnestly the best gifts, and ye, he's saying, yet shall, it's like you, and cover it saying covet earnestly the best gifts and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Hey, cause remember in the first two uh late early in the uh in the uh, chapter he said, Look, if all was the uh the hearing, where was the seeing? So he was making that same that same analogy of look, everybody ain't uh, apostles, everybody ain't prophets, everybody ain't teachers, but there's a diversity of gifts to edify one another, man, to benefit the body. Hey, let me get this. It's 1 Corinthians 1. 1 Corinthians 13 and 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and having not charity, I am become as sound in brass or the tinkling a uh, cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Man. That's cold. And you got certain brothers that <laughs> they give is charity. Yeah. Yeah, man. They they understand and they know the milk, but their their specialty gift is the Lord mm -hmm. has given them the ability to show forth charity, man. Uh. And Paul is showing you that those parts that may seem uncommonly to the, the naked eye are more honorable. Yep. And he's pointing yep. that out. Like, look, I know the deep mysteries. I can I can break something down to y'all that'll go right over your head. But if I don't have charity, hey, it don't matter. For nothing, man. That's cold, man. That's cold, man. Verse 3 say, And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Man. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunt of not itself is not puffed up. Man, that's cold. And that's cold, why man. through the spirit, whatever you have, even if it's the milk, it's a it's a labor of love. It's right. it's a spiritual charity. And if you have the the ability, according to the body, to show forth a literal charity, whether it's through finances, whether it's through food or whatever the case may be, that covers a multitude of sins as well. And that's a part of the gifts. That's a part mm -hmm. of the body. Because yeah. you never know, man. Like, Bro, we are blessed to even have a seat at this table, Lord willing. Lord willing, man. Yes. Just to even have the sure. opportunity to have a seat at this table is a, a huge blessing, man. Uh, so that's all I got on mine. That's it.
So mm -hmm. and with that, we want to just give all praise, honor, and glory. Lord willing, y'all edify. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, wow. and the sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word wow. in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Wow. Wa Aba Babal. The Wala for tuning in. May Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, continue blessing your houses. Stay prayed up. The Wala for your precepts. Kind. Shalom. That beautiful brother. Go along, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh